Hi, fourth grade. Um, today we're going to just review how to add and subtract fractions with like denominators. Um, so if you hear the word like denominators, that means that the denominators are the same, okay, of both of the fractions. So this should be a pretty simple lesson for you because you guys have a great understanding of fractions and you also have a great understanding of addition and subtraction. So let's go ahead and look at our rule. This right here is an example of a fraction, okay? This fraction is two-sixths. So let's review. The top number is the numerator. The bottom number is the denominator. So here's our rule. If the denominator of the two fractions are the same, then you can add or subtract them. So the first thing you want to look at is the denominator. And you're going to ask yourself, are they like? Are they the same? So with this example problem right here, we have two-sixths plus three-sixths. So as a mathematician, the first thing I'm going to look at is the denominators. Are they the same? Okay, in this case they are. So if the denominators are the same, you can just go ahead and add and subtract, add or subtract the numerator. Okay? So as long as the denominator is the same, you're going to keep the denominator the same. In your answer, it's going to also have that same denominator. So we can just go ahead and add the numerators. Two plus three equals five. So two-sixths plus three-sixths equals five-sixths. So here's another example, and it has some images to go with it. So right here, we see a picture of what one-fourth looks like, and we see the number. And this fraction is two-fourths. So again, the first thing we look at is the denominators. Are they the same? Are they like? Yes. Both of these fractions are written in fourths. So we can you know, kind of picture what's going to happen here. We have the one-fourth, we have the two-fourths, so we just go ahead and add the numerators. One plus two is three. So our image would look like this. We added our one-fourth to our two-fourths, and we see that three-fourths of the fraction is shaded. So that is our answer. Luckily for you, all of the fractions that you're going to see today have like denominators. Next week, we're going to learn how to add and subtract fractions that have unlike denominators. But for today, um, we're just going to practice adding and subtracting fracture, fractions with the same denominator. So here's an example problem. We have one-fourth plus two-fourths. Oh, this is the same one that we already did. And we know that the answer, the denominator stays the same. So we, we go ahead, we go ahead and write our denominator. And then we just add the numerators. One plus two is three. Okay, let's look at this next one. This is a subtraction problem, but the rules still apply. As long as the denominators are the same, it's going to also stay the same in our answer. Okay, so we went ahead and wrote our seven in the denominator, and then all we have to do is subtract the numerator. Six minus three is three. So six sevenths minus three sevenths is three sevenths. I want you to go ahead and try these two practice problems on your own. So you're going to practice adding 8 twelfths plus 2 twelfths. Notice the denominators are like, they are the same. And then I'd also like you to subtract 7 ninths minus 4 ninths. Most of you can probably do this really quick mental math. Um, this is probably the shortest math video we've had all year. So now you know how to add and subtract fractions with like denominators.